Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise here on MLB The Show 18. Today is the All-Star Special, hope you guys are excited. We are going to get into this AAA All-Star game. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is on our team, and we are going to highlight either Zachary Swain or Kristen Stewart. I'm probably going to go to Kristen Stewart since he is the B. So let's highlight him. Kristen Stewart. We will show everything that happens to him in this AAA All-Star game. He's batting 294 with 13 homers on the season. And here's his first at-bat in the All-Star game. On an 0-1 pitch with two out, he's going to hit this one to short. And they will make the throw to first base. So he is out. Now runners on the corner with one out. Stewart. Going to catch this fly ball. He's going to rocket this thing home. And a very accurate throw able to get the runner. That is a double play and all done by Kristen Stewart. And now with a one nothing lead, Stewart on a dribbler to the pitcher. He will get out again. Not doing a lot at the plate, but his defense has been very, very solid so far. As there he is hitting that one into left. That one is caught. So 0 for 3 for Stewart on the day so far. And now on an 0-2 pitch with none out. Kristen Stewart a long way to run after that one. And he does make the play. And now in the 7th inning with none out again. He's going to make this play in the outfield with none on. So there we go. Solid defense from Stewart. But he will be pinch hit for in the 7th. And will manage this one to its completion as it is a 1-1 ball game right now. We're going to go ahead and put in a new pitcher here in the 8th inning. And nothing much going on. There's a little trouble here. Base is bombed for Danny Farquhar. And we're going to bring in Robbie Ross Jr. who gets the strikeout to end the inning. Badu is going to walk. We're going to pinch hit. Bring in some newbies. Logan Morrison, we're going to pinch hit for him. We're trying to pinch hit for everyone so everybody gets a chance to play. Runner thrown out at home on a walk-off opportunity. Well, not a walk-off opportunity, but a go-ahead opportunity. And so now Robbie Ross still in the game. We're going to go ahead and bring in a new pitcher as he gave up a single. And now we're into extra innings in this one. This is key. Extra innings. And nothing doing in the 10th at all. So now we go into the 11th inning here in this All-Star game. Pop out, ground out, a lot of outs. There's a single. So we'll bring in a new pitcher. Hoping that we can get a go-ahead run here in the 12th. We're going to pinch hit. Pitch hit again. Tommy Joseph. Nah, we're not going to pinch hit at all. Because the guy doesn't play any of the positions that we need to come into the game. So, now to the 13th inning. Tommy Joseph's going to come in pinch hitting for the DH and he's going to strike out. Thanks, Tommy. Appreciate you. Swain gets a single. Fly out. Wow, bottom 13 now with Jake Patricka on the mound. Jankowski, he's going to ground out. Walden's going to get a double. And no. So bottom 14. Now we're into the 15th inning. Tommy Joseph. There's a strikeout. There's a strikeout. Wow. Nothing doing in the 15th inning. Bringing in a new pitcher. A walk, a single. We got bases bombed with none out. And there's a shot for a walk-off. Pop out, strike out, strike out. What an outing there. A triple for Badu, and there's a double and a run scored. Lewis brings Badu home. And we've got a 2-1 a two -one lead. Phil Sherrill on the mound to close out, and he does it. And our All-Stars do take the game. Badu, player of the game with that triple. Two for six on the day. And it's a 2-1 win in 16 innings for our All-Stars. Now moving on to the AA All-Star game. 
Uh, let's see who we can choose here. Josh Ockme, Aiden Whitford are both on our team. We're playing along with Darius Crowell. Um, Austin Meadows also on our team. We're going to go ahead and use Aiden because you know why? Because he's a subscriber guy. So we're going to use him. Uh, somehow both of these All-Star games taking place at City Field. I don't know how it's possible that both All-Star games could take place at 10.05 Eastern in the same stadium. But, you know, we'll have to suspend our disbelief for now. Aiden Whitford throwing a guy out there. It becomes a double play. That was key for inning number one. Then he's going to pop one out there to left field. That'll be an out. Now in the fourth inning, he's going to try and he's going to dribble this one to the pitcher. And the pitcher can't handle it. And it's going to be Aiden reaching on an error, I believe, on that one. So now from first base. There's a single up the middle, and that'll bring Aiden to second base. And now, on a 1-2 pitch with one out, there's another one, and that one's going to be grounded over, and it will be a double play to get them out. Oh, no, it's not a double play. It's one out. And then that one is going to be an out to get them out of the inning completely. Aiden close to scoring a run there, but it just doesn't work out. But this time he's going to single up the middle into center field. And we got two on with two out. Can the man at the plate help us out here? He's hitting this one over to first base, second base. And that one's going to be an out. And then Aiden will be pinch hit for so he will be done. Let's see what happens here. Fly out. Single. Okay. Can we get a run? No. So we will lose this all-star game. Drew Jackson. The oh, no. We win this all-star game. 2-1. Okay. My bad. I thought Somehow I keep thinking we're east, and they keep putting us as west, even though we're Altoona, Pennsylvania. But whatever. Uh, we get a win there. Now, Wade Davis is going to be brought on by the Yankees for reliever Jonathan Holder and starter Jose Mesa Jr. Interesting choice for them as we look forward to the Major League All-Star festivities simming through this Cubs series. Now, the future game is today, so World versus USA. Let's see how that goes. We got Tom Wood on the world team. We got Darius Crowell on the world team. Tom Wood's on our team. So we got Aiden Whitford on the U.S. team. So that means we're just going to go ahead and uh, manage it because I don't want to choose sides. So let's manage the World Futures game. We got a double right there by Aiden. That brings a run in. So we've got a one nothing lead for USA, but then a two-run shot for the world. So, world on top, 2-1 here. Here we go, Mitch Keller. On the mound. Wood trying to get around all the bases, and he can't. So, there's a solo shot for Telez, and we got a tie ball game. USA and world tied in this one. Mitch Keller getting into trouble, but he gets out of it. There's a solo shot for Walker. And that's going to bring USA in the lead 3-2. Mitch Keller giving up some singles now. we got runners on the corners, but he does get out of it. A bunch of outs there in the fifth. A bunch of outs here in the sixth. And the seventh is going clearly the same way. Mitch Keller gets out of the jam there. And Acevedo, close to giving up a run. It's thrown out at home. It's still a 3-2 game, despite the action going on right now. Mitch Keller just gave up the tying run. So do we bring Mitch Keller out? He gives up a double. We're going to bring Mitch Keller out of here. And now Guerrero. So now pop out, pop out, walk. So it's a 5-3 game in favor of the world and USA's final chance. There's a double and a run scored. It's 5-4, and they do get out of it with a runner on second. So the world do hold off to win that one, 5-4. And now we take a peek at the Major League Baseball Home Run Derby. we got Manny Machado, Charlie Blackman, Cody Bellinger, Gary Sanchez, Anthony Rizzo, Aaron Judge, Ian Hop, and Michael Conforto. So after the first round, Michael Conforto over Manny Machado, Rizzo over Sanchez, Judge over Bellinger, and Hop over Blackman. 
After that round, Conforto and Judge will be in the final. So here we go. We'll watch this final really, really fast as it's going to fly right by. Three, four homers, five homers, six homers for Conforto. Does he get any more than six? He has a very bad last minute, but he does pick up a home run there. Seven home runs for Conforto. Judge had seven in round number two, so let's see if he... Oh, no, it's eight home runs for Conforto. My complete bad. But Judge looking pretty good as he gets five before a minute. And now he has six. Can he do it? Judge has seven. He has eight. And he is going to win it with nine home runs. So a nine to eight win. Aaron Judge is going to win the home run derby here at the All-Star Game. Aaron Judge does an amazing job. Sorry for making that so fast. I just didn't want this video to be so long. It was going to be like 20 minutes. All right, so now we're looking at the NL All-Star lineup. Adam Frazier is our only All-Star guy. So we're not going to cheat and make him the starter just to play it. So we'll go ahead and manage this game. We'll be able to manage him and hopefully Felipe Rivero for a save opportunity. We'll see how that goes. All right, there's a single error. Oof. All right, 0-0. Zero, zero. We're going to go ahead and manage this game. It's going to take a while to manage this game because we're going to bring in all the pitchers and all the hitters and all that stuff. We're going to you know, manage it like they do it in real life, bringing in everybody. So I just want every pitcher to really have an opportunity to pitch a couple innings here in this game. Uh-oh, Kershaw got in a little bit of trouble, but he's fine. All right, Kershaw, I believe, yeah, he can pitch one more inning, or is he going to come out? He's going to come out here. All right, we're going to bring in Quintana. Jose Quintana gets us through four. Kristen Yelich. He's betting 287 with four homers for Billy Hamilton. Wow. I didn't think Billy could hit homers like that, but there he goes. He gets on base. We're going to pinch hit all these guys now here in the fifth. It's like a like a little league game. We're going to bring in like all their all the other batters and whatnot. All right, go, go, go. Oh, wow. It's a still as not as scoreless freaking game here in the sixth inning. Tanaka gives up a solo shot to Franco. There we go. Let's break this game open, guys. Let's break this game open. Real Muto is on. Cespedes, we're going to take him out for Eaton. Come on, Eaton. There's a single. Lorenzo Kane will take him out for Dyson. There's a single and a run scored. And Tanaka is giving it up to the bench. Even though the bench are all-stars. I mean, what are you going to do? All right, so now we're going to take out Quintana. We're going to put in Geo. Let's see what Geo can do. Geo gets us through six. He's got to get us through seven now if he can. And he does. Franco, the hero so far, he opened up the scoring. All right, Geo can come out now. We'll put in a guy that's going to set up. Who's going to do that? Let's bring in, let's bring in Familia. Familia could shut down the eighth inning, hopefully. Ooh, he allowed a runner, uh, runner so we're going to bring in Iglesias, who allows a, the score. Now we're going to bring in Corey Nebel, and Nebel will get us out of the eighth. Wow, the eighth was a tough one for sure. Okay, now we're going to pinch it. We're going to let... Uh, no, we're not going to pinch it because we don't have the right positions. Whatever, we'll just get through that. Those two guys don't get the play. Felipe Rivero to close the game. Strike out. Strike out. And another out some way. And the NL does win the All-Star game behind Felipe Rivero's three strikeouts. Wow, he did strike out the side to get the save. So Rivero a hero there. And we do win that All-Star game for the National League. So, guys, please let me know if you enjoyed this All-Star episode. I did it very similar to the last All-Star game in last season. Go ahead and drop a like. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. See you next time.